Hello guys, this is Mio Zerkhan and you are watching my channel Let's Let's Design Together, right? So guys, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create the Facebook cover. So without wasting any time, let's begin. So guys, you can see on my screen, I have simply opened the new document, right? Here, I will give the Facebook cover size. So that is 851 width and by 315 height, right? And now I will simply rename it to Facebook and leave everything by default and simply click on create guys I have to select the circle right and after that draw it with shift and alt key to the outside so now I will convert it to fill disable the stroke and click on the fill color so that's the color right with control T move it to the left side and cover all the area which are white and now simply click on enter once you click on enter, now what I have to do, I have to select the rectangle tool and draw it to the right, right? And after that, do the same step, disable the stroke and enable the fill color. What I have to do next, I have to select the move tool and select both of the those layers. Once I select on both of those layers, so then I have to uh, vertical align it you can see I have simply aligned it right I have to merge it now so right click on that layer and click on merge shapes now there's one shape so I will simply rename it to the main shape and hit enter what I have to do next I have to select the circle right again and make a small circle this time this much will be enough right and do the same step disable the stroke and enable the fill color after that you have to click on ctrl t for transform and move it to move it here this much is enough right i have to select the circle tool again and with shift and alt key drag it again but this much will be enough now right and what i have to do I have to enable the stroke this time right so simply do the same step but enable the stroke yeah that's enough and control T for transform and move it to here this much will be enough right and hit enter now uh, like the move tool and simply first I will Log this layer, right? Click select this layer and click on the log button. After that, what I have to do, I have to select the stroke, right? At first, I will rename it stroke, and now I have to remove some of the area. So, what I have to do, I have to add layer mask. Once I add layer mask, I will select the brush tool, right? And here is the setting, right? The hardness should be 100%, and after that the black color should be on for example so you can shift it from here by clicking or with shift x you can do the same step again right now what i have to do i have to remove this part right so just remove it yeah this much will be enough right and simply click on ctrl t for transform and drag it a little more outside and click on enter so what next now I will right click on that stroke layer and rasterize that layer. After rasterizing I will select the layer mask and click on right click on that and click on apply layer mask right. So that's enough right. Now simply select the circle tool again and drag it from center to outside right and disable the stroke and after that enable the fill color. After enabling the fill color now control T for transform and move it to here it's enough right and hit enter after that select the move tool and with alt key make a duplicate so that's enough right now i have to select all these three layers and merge it so do the same step right click and merge layers after merging you can see now i will rename it to style i have to go to the file place embed it and pick my bubbles right that are png maybe uh, my next video is related to png websites so you will learn a lot of it right so drag it here 
that is fully PNG, right? And then click on enter. What you have to do next? Now I will bring it beneath all of these layers, just at the top of that man shell, right? You can see it worked. And now I will select the circle tool, right? And go to the file, place in with it, and select the model. So now you can see I have selected the model and now make it a little smaller with shift and alt key right and move it to the center of that circle and click and click on enter. After that right click and create clipping mask you can see but now I have to move it a little bit control T for transform and move it down this much will be enough and now simply click on enter. What I have to do next, I have to give a little bit of shadow, right? So I will select the circle ellipse one, right? The ellipse layer and right click on that blending option. Go to the blending option, right? And click on drop shadow. So drop shadow. Now I will change the direction that it will be 45, right? And uh, what more? I will speed, I will give it a little bit of distance and size that's much it's enough and click on okay now i have to place this shadow on the another one like on the style layer right i will simply right click on that ellipse layer and click on copy layer style after that i will select the style layer right and right click and click on paste layer style you can see it has applied right what i have to do next i have to click on the pin tool right pin tool one click here and the another click should be here and what next one here and the another last one will be here right so now with control enter make a selection now you can see the selection has been made i have to select the new layer right and click on control backspace for background color okay at first i will duplicate it with control j now control t for transform and bring it to the top right and, and right click flip vertical after flipping vertical then adjust it with that layer top and simply click on enter or the, on the tick mark right now you can see because there is already been white and the background is also white that's why so now i have to merge both of these layers so with shift t select both of them and right click and after that click on merge layers now what we have to do as you can see i have already copied the layer style of the other layers right now i will do the right click and click on paste layer style you can see it has pasted now double click on it i have to adjust it a little bit right and uh, go to the drop shadow right and move it move it a little bit i think this will be enough right now click on okay so what next now i will simply go to the file place in bit it I will select the face lock icon right and make it small with shift and alt key and bring it to the down now simply click on enter do the same shift file select the move tool and select all these layers right now what I have to do I have to vertical align it right after that I will do like here you can see the uh, distribute horizontal center so I will click on it right so you can see it has centered the all alignment right now what I have to do I have to do the same step of the drop shadow one right right click and paste layer style 
now select the another layer now select the another one right click and paste layer right click and paste layer now with that one right click and paste layer right now what i have to do i have to group it right so with shift key select all of these layers and control g for grouping and name it to social media icon and hit enter and now you can see i have done my job right now i will lock it with clicking on lock right so guys what i will do now i will select the text tool right and click on this layer right and simply write facebook with shift key so that is already in capital right and hit enter and with control backspace we will give the background color right control t for font and bring it to the top right i think this much will be enough but now i have to click on enter now we can't see this right so i will right click on this layer and go to the blending option i'm going to convert it to the stroke right so that's why i will click on the stroke you can see that's the setting for this two pixels of size and position should be outside and blending mode should be normal and opacity will be 100 and the outline color will be blue so you can select it from here right so i have already selected and click on okay now what i will do i will double click on that facebook layer right and click on drop shadow after clicking on after clicking on drop shadow now the distance should be 4 and the spread should be 5 and the size should be 13 and go with 45 angle right and click on ok now i will select the text tool right and, and write the word cover design i have hold the shift key right so that's why it's in capital Control T for transform and make it a little smaller, right? And just align it with that layer. Select the Facebook layer and now select the cover design layer and horizontal align it this time, right? After that, now I will click on the cover layer and with shift key bring it a little down. Now you can see the world. So that you can see the modification right now i will click on the facebook layer and bring it a little more down this much will be enough right but i have to apply shadow to the cover design layer also right so now what i have to do i will copy the layer stamp of facebook layer right right click and click on copy layer stamp but remember it has stroke now i will paste it on that layer right click and paste layer stamp but everything is done okay guys so guys what to do next now here are the last tips right i will select the shape tool right custom shape tool and select the this one right this style like in vertical stylish design right and simply change the color of the stroke right to the blue one right and control t for transform and bring it a little downward and to the left side and now you can see i will bring it to the down layers right i will show you now you can see it's now in you can see now it's in beneath with alt key take a new copy and drag it to on the left side so guys that's enough for today if you like this tutorial or learn in even a single word so like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get each and every single notification and guys if you want to learn the social media design post so here is the link i have given in the i button click on that and learn it that's enough for today thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial